Yeah, that's her. Rachel, can you count to ten? One. Can you do it? No. You want more. More? What do you mean more? More and two. Hello. You're probably wondering why I'm making this video. And I'll tell you. Because I want to look back at it and say one thing. Well, boy, I'm cute. I know. And I have a message for you. Life, it's kind of funny when you think about the fact that the thing that we all have in common is that we're all here to experience it. So let me give you a hypothetical. Let's say you're me. You're this faceless being that apparently has thoughts and we get these opportunities to try on different faces, different voices, different lives. We are all faced throughout our lives with agonizing decisions, moral choices. Some are on a grand scale. Most of these choices are on lesser points. But we define ourselves by the choices we have made. We are, in fact, the sum total of our choices. Events unfold so unpredictably, so unfairly. Human happiness does not seem to have been included in the design of creation. It is only we, with our capacity to love, that give meaning to the indifferent universe. And yet... Hi, Rachel. Say hi. Hi. Thank you. What is it? Rock my baby. Go ahead. No, baby. You open it. Hmm? You open it. Open it? Yeah. Okay, I will. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and sing me the song. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. No, open it. No. No, open it. Rachel, remember? Mm -hmm. You sing it and then you can watch yourself, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Open it. Not until you sing it. You gotta sing and then we'll rewind it and you can watch it, okay? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Am I do that, Mom? No, Rage, don't touch the lens. What about singing? Huh? You forgot about singing. <coughs>
from the primordial. I guess I can really relate to that as someone who has been passively suicidal and also has just had a lot of other near-death experiences where it makes me feel like every day that I do get to heal my inner child more and try to like figure things out for myself more and look back at the part of myself that just wanted to be self-destructive and just like see it as a blessing that I'm still here experiencing it. <laughs> My neck be like popping out. No more of that. I'm just saying no more of that. Engaging core muscles. I've never engaged in my life. <laughs> But you're probably gonna watch this on your TV a few years from now and look back and say, wow. And future self, I'm gonna ask you one thing and answer this. Which is cuter? This dress or this And I'm gonna be looking for ghosts. Not just any kind of ghosts. Real ghosts. So, we're gonna be looking for ghosts. This is cold. Dun dun dun. Ghost things. <laughs> Chop, that is a, it's a great question. But you know, isn't there a kind of beauty to just getting to be something so fluffy and cute? Fuck you! Fuck you for calling me cute! I am a monster! <laughs> I'm a monster! Yeah, 
Yeah. Bye. Bitch. Sorry. Um, um, um. <gasps> My life is a fucking joke, but like with one of those really like positive punchlines at the end, no one gets hurt or offended. Instead, everyone heals from the joke. <laughs> it's not like a mirror, so it's not focusing in the same way. But that's fine. Like, I got the face. I don't know. I just, I got the man face. Like, a cute man face. Like, a little twink boy. <laughs> a little twink boy that you like, you're like, oh, he's just a twink. But then if I were to grow a beard, <laughs> you'd all be like, oh, but what? Because <laughs> I see myself, and when they're cut off, I'm like, that's the man I know. And then I'm like, <gasps> right, fuck the soup. Oh God, I do this now. Before I was hyper fixated on food. Sometimes I forget about it now. 31 days of going home for the holidays. With Okay, um, th this is a character you might know. His name is Santa Claus. Um, yeah, so, so just check me out as Santa Claus. <coughs> ho, 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 everybody. I am Santa Claus. And, uh, you might think Santa Claus does not experience existential dread. But you'd be wrong. Santa Claus, just like any other being, magical or non-magical, will one day die. And when I do die, does the hand that controls me also die? Or could it be that the hand that controls me slips out from under my back and goes to puppet a different vessel. I do believe so, ho, ho, ho. Well, how awkward. Well, how long has Rachel been awkward? My God, as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Rachel. Troubled case. Could never stand up straight. Couldn't do a sit up without farting. My God, look where she is now. Can barely do a fucking play. What if we were stuck upside down and then the security had to flip me over? Still without person. But then when I say lately to myself, I go. Personalist. And shit fix all like that. Actually. No. <sighs> this is what happens when you pretend you're on the sun. For over a decade. Because you're a bad bitch. You're gonna get as athletic as you've ever been. Out of pure joy. And I'm gonna get back into being a foodie. Comfort foods and that's not cool. I'm gonna help people with a 
with him and I think that he tastes good. So suck on that, haters. That was sad. Fuck you. I've never ever let myself look like this before. And then this one. They want, they want this to make sense. How's it gonna make sense? This time, oh my god, what? Coming to you live from the middle of the multiverse. What do I look? How could one even know? This is not me. This is a screen. I do say. Shortened media. I don't believe in it. The way I see it. Time itself is the stage. When you have people in seats staring at your face, it's a the time present. You see, they have dedicated their time to watching you dance like like a buffoon, <laughs> like a buffoon. You. In the name of art, art, Tiago. Tiago.